Will Turner paused as he entered Jack's cabin on the Black Pearl, only to find Jack kneeling in prayer before a small glass case set on the central table, containing a somewhat moldy-looking, half-eaten fruit. What are you doing? Jack held up a finger and kept praying for a few moments, before straightening up and putting his hat on from where it had been sitting next to the case. Just getting a few prayers before we begin the next portion of our exciting voyage. Will glanced back to the case. And why were you praying to a fruit? Jack blinked, looking a bit confused, before shaking his head and giving a grin. He swaggered across the table and threw an arm around Will's shoulders. Because, my fine, occasionally heartless friend, that is not simply a fruit. It is, in fact, a very special fruit. Will nodded, his face screwed up in an expression of mild disgust at Jack's breath. Right. Jack nodded solemnly before swaying over to a cabinet. You see, Will, Willy, Willy, William. He shook his head and turned to point a finger at Will. That fruit, it has a name. Sulky, sulky, something like that. But I like my name better. Reaching behind himself, he pulled a large wooden mug out of the cupboard and slammed it down on the table and gave Will another grim. The rum rum fruit. He then pointed a finger into the mug. After a moment, the tip of his finger shifted, changing color, and a thin stream of liquid poured down into the mug. Filling it to the brim, he hefted it up, sloshing some onto the table, and took a big swib. I might have won, Will. Sabe? All the rum and it's never gone. Who needs to swim? I might have won, Will. Sabe? All the rum and it's never gone. Who needs to swim? He took another squig, then pulled out another mug. You want some? Will shook his head, making some excuse about needing to go swab the deck, and quickly raced out of the cabin.